Hey, my name is Matt Graber. I'm a principal threat researcher here at Red Canary. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the MSHTA technique, which we're highlighting again this year in the threat detection report. It refers to the host binaries that execute Microsoft HTML applications, which consist of an HTML document containing either embedded VB scripts or JScript content that executes as full trust, meaning it can execute arbitrary code and not be subjected to the tight security controls imposed by a browser. It also being a native built-in feature of Windows, which has actually been around since 1993, MSHTA includes both MSHTA.exe and its underlying host DLL, MSHTML.dll, which can be executed directly as an alternative through run dll32.exe. Adversaries might consider abusing MSHTA because aside from it being an already built-in utility, it supports the execution of arbitrary VB script or JScript code either from within a file executed in line on the command line or retrieved directly from a malicious URL. It also allows for creative packaging and malicious payloads where HTA content can be stuffed into nearly any existing file format without invalidating an otherwise legitimate file. In fact, it's even possible to embed HTA content into signed files without invalidating their signature, also making it an enticing target for phishing payloads. Considering how old MSHTA is, Microsoft hasn't supported any new features for it in quite some time, so it doesn't lend itself to novel abuses by adversaries year over year. One notable shift in tradecraft, however, has been that where adversaries used to more commonly execute payloads in line via the command line, they more often have MSHTA.exe reach out directly to a URI that's hosting their payload. We've also seen an uptick in adversaries embedding HTA content within legitimate Microsoft binaries. For example, dialer.exe is one such binary that has been stuffed with MSHTA content. The main trend that I've seen this year over years past is the abuse of MSHTA almost exclusively to deliver InfoStealer malware like LumaC2 and Vidar. We haven't seen it abused by other threat actors or red teams as much as we did in previous years. Aside from that, there isn't a ton of novelty in the HTA payloads themselves. They generally just execute a malicious PowerShell process and then be on their way. VBScript and JScript are generally not the first choice of scripting language by adversaries due to their antiquated syntax and semi-limited tradecraft opportunities. So that said, they generally do as little as possible in the HTA payload itself and leave the heavy lifting to subsequent PowerShell payloads. I would say the thing that will always surprise me is how you can place an, M an HTA payload anywhere within an existing file. And when executed, it will scan through the file until it finds the HTA content. As I mentioned already, this affords an opportunity for a clever adversary to embed a payload into signed content, even without invalidating the signature, assuming they're wise to the portions of those file formats that aren't subject to signature validation. The unique advantage to this to an adversary, other than it making malware analysis a little more challenging, is that it can be used to subvert Microsoft smart screen prompts when HTA content is delivered as a phishing payload. So if a victim executes one of these signed payloads, they'll see that it's a trust in Microsoft file. First, it's that MSHTA content is blocked entirely by Windows Defender Application Control, or WDAC. Even if you deploy an allow all policy, HTA content will be prevented from executing. Second, these days there are few legitimate use cases for HTA content apply scrutiny to any invocation of MSHTA.exe in your environment. Additionally, if HTA content is executed from within the context of RunDLL32.exe, it's almost guaranteed to be malicious. Third, 
Be aware that by the nature of HTA content, executing VBScript or JScript content, that the anti-malware scan interface, or AMSI, is able to gain insight into executed payloads, which offer endpoint security vendors the opportunity to inspect and prevent the execution of malicious HTA content. Generally speaking, MSHTA is very easy to prevent and detect, so my advice is to stay vigilant, but not to lose sleep over this technique.